Hello again and welcome back. So you have learned how to capture your visitors' emails and in this lecture you are going to learn how to reach them by creating email campaign. And in this specific example, we are going to learn how to take the optimized blog post that we have. Like for example, this blog, okay? and send it out to all of your email subscribers. So let's get started. So from inside our MailChimp account, here we are going to go to the left and click on create, okay? Then we need to go to email and then regular, okay? Now we need to give our campaign a name, okay? So I can just give it a name like this thing right over here or maybe I can copy all of this thing, okay? And I can just give it a name here like retro gaming, do older screens emit more blue light okay then i can just click on begin now it says like to whom you want to send this so we want to send it to all subscribe contacts previous video i show you the list of our subscribe contact and from like opti blue blockers and this email address okay so you can change this as well you can add in a business email if you want from here okay so now it says what's the subject line for this email so we'll come back to this in a while and we need to actually design our email okay content of our email so i can just click on design email now it has templates like it says like start from scratch or bold or actually you can do this one i actually like the minimal one because it's simple and it's like easy to use okay so i can just click on apply so it will open this email for you okay so this is how your email will going to look like okay so now we can start designing our email okay so you can see right over here now the first thing here i need to do is i'm going to remove this logo here okay so i can just click on this thing and then remove block because i am not going to want a logo so i just deleted this one i want to actually keep this image this looks nice i can actually get rid of this block as well so now I need a bunch of lines, so I need a paragraph and I can just drag it here. So you see how simple is this thing, okay? But actually I need to want to have my image on the top of this paragraph. So I can just click on my image. Here is the drag cursor and you can drag your image on the top and paragraph comes down, okay? So that's really amazing and it's easy. So now I'm going to start designing. The first thing I want to do is I want to add in the image of my blog post. So in order to do that, all I need to do is move back to my website. This thing right over here, I can just right click on this image and save image as and I can just uh, save this image in the documents. OK, so it's saved. Yeah, it's done. So I can just head back here, click on the image, upload image into the documents folder. So here is my image. So I can just grab this image. So my image is uploaded. You can see right over here. You can align it to like left, center, right or full as well. Okay. It's totally up to you. I can just keep it to the center. That would look nice. Now I can just increase the padding from top like maybe 100, 100 from bottom as well, 100 from left as well, and 100 from right as. So now my image is looking really nice and it's basically in center, okay? So the question is now, what should I write in order to make my subscribers interested in this blog post? Like, what should I write here, okay? Well, of course, we should ask our trusty friend, ChatGPT. So let's head over to our ChatGPT. So here I am on my ChatGPT. I can paste in a prompt like, act as an email marketer, summarize the following articles in between 50 to 120 words for my business name and it's actually opti blue blockers okay include a subject line that's less than nine words long and uses a maximum of one emoji also include a short preview design it as an email meant to promote and engage subscribers to read the full article use a friendly tone you can adjust the tone according to you of voice and simple term highlight the benefits the readers may get from the article and provide a clear call to action at the end and we need to provide our article right here okay so i can just move back grab all of this stuff okay and i can just paste in my article right here so our article is here so i can now just hit enter to submit this thing okay so now it's generating you can see 
all right it just provided me with complete thing which i need there okay so now what i will do is i will just go back to my chat gpt just take all of this text from here okay copy it come back to my mailchimp and i can just paste it here okay i can just make it look more readable like i can just give a space here space after the paragraph then the benefits of the article i can give a space here as well and i can just take it to down as well this thing as well yeah i actually want to delete this thing like read full article here because i actually want to modify this button okay if i just click on this button and i can just link it to a web address okay so I can just move back to my article, just copy the link and I can just paste it in right here. Okay. And I actually want to change the button text here as well. So I can just click here and I will say read more. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So now I actually need to remove my social media accounts and here I need to provide my logo. Okay. So I can just head back to my website. I can just go back to my dashboard media and library we can actually open this logo and we can actually download file okay so our logo is downloaded you can see right over here so now i can just move back to mailchimp set logo upload image into the downloads folder and this is my logo okay so yeah it's actually done it's looking like huge so what i can do is i can just adjust the padding like i can say apply to all sides and 150 padding okay maybe 100 should be fine yeah it's totally up to you like how you want to design this this thing is like copyright and current year will be here your company name will be here like archive page description and if and like our mailing address all of these things will come here by default it's required by law and it's important okay so now actually you can preview this thing like this is how your email will look like it's looking amazingly well and subject and preview text aren't here till yet okay so we will just change them in a while so I can close the preview. I can just save and exit. So now our content is actually set. We can just provide with the subject. Okay. So subject would be something like the chat GPT already gave us the subject as well. Okay. So this would be our subject like retro screen versus modern glow. Okay. And preview text would be this thing, which is also present here. I can just save this thing. So this is all done. Okay. All of these steps are actually done so i can just click on send and you're about to send an email to opti blue blockers three subscribers okay so because we actually had three subscribers so we can actually click on send and send now so it says your emails out there another job well done okay it is actually on the way to three subscribers from the audience opti blue blockers okay we can actually check the email report as well we have created our first email campaign and send it out to all of our subscribers. So once you have sent your email campaign, it's going to take anywhere from a couple of minutes to a couple of hours before it's sent to everyone. Okay. If it's a really big list, it might even take 24 hours. So then what you can do the next is, so here you can actually monitor your email campaign. Okay. Here you get an all of that magical data or rather reporting on actually how your email campaign actually performed now the most important thing to know as a benchmark to compare your performance towards is scrolling down here you can see this thing like open rate and click rate okay this is actually thing which will show like how your email campaign is performing. Now it's going to vary depending on what it is you are sending out, what niche you are in, etc. 